What's up guys? Um, I'm gonna show you how to replace the brakes on a look uh, binding set. Same as a Rosy um, or any of these um, style of uh, ski bindings. Um, look for this video, found one that was posted on New Schoolers and it was pretty old um, and uh, wasn't necessarily clear. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do it on this video a little bit better. Um, so this is the binding as it uh, comes assembled. This is the heel piece here with the brake assembly. Uh, first you're going to want to remove these four bolts here, um, two shorter ones here and two longer ones. This half moon will come off next. Next on the rear, I'm just going to compress the brake here, push down can do it on a like a platform like this and then I'll let you get to that screw Perfect. these things are removed notice those are the two longer ones which go into the rear this plate will come off set there okay once this plate's off you kind of will expose the bottom here um, there's a bit of prying that you have to do to remove this. So you're gonna wanna grab a nice big heavy um, flathead screwdriver. Kind of Once that's off, you find this uh, spring and then the brake set kind of work its way out of here just like this there we go just like that so then now you have your heel plate it's completely empty like that so when this is coming off sometimes this tab I don't know if you can see that is bent up a little bit you want to make sure that that's nice and flush See like that. It's now. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus on it. It's nice and flush like that. So now you're just going to do the same thing in reverse to get this all out of back end. So your brake will go in first. Just kind of jiggle them. They'll come back around. Just like that. You're going to rest in that little hole, right like that. And the next step you're going to take is that metal plate. The metal plate's going to just kind of line up like that, okay, over top of it. If you look at the metal plate, you'll see there's kind of one, two, three, four contact points. And you're going to want to uh, kind of push down so that these two metal clips are seated. And, uh, and same down here, kind of push in the center. And if you take a flat head, kind of push that down while you're holding that flush there. And you kind of pry that plastic bit. See now those are seated just like that. And then that's seated there. So you know everything is as it should be. You can test it, and it works as it should, just like that. Okay, last step, you're gonna set your brake. You set the binding down like this. Okay. You're gonna take your spring, you're gonna set it in to where the loop is facing towards your boot on the top side. And then uh, these two um, sections would be down towards your ski. Just set it like that so it's just kind of resting just like that and you'll just take a you'll take kind of your flat head and set it in the center so it's reversed you will take a screwdriver and just kind of tap until it clicks okay. 
and it's going to click in there and seat way back in there. Okay, and you can cycle your brake to make sure that that is where it needs to be. Okay, and it definitely is now. So that's all done. So now we're just going to do the process in reverse. I'm going to set this down here. Put your half moon. You'll take your two longer screw heads. Those will kind of end up just like this. shorter ones. We're going to go here in the front. And that is how you change the brakes. And you have these uh, kind of look pivot style bindings. Not too bad, huh? Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in.